Peppers are one of the most popular crops in our home vegetable gardens here in Louisiana. Both hot peppers and sweet peppers, we just couldn't have a garden without them. Bell peppers are one of our more popular sweet peppers, and they produce kind of poorly in the heat of summer. A lot of times they drop a lot of flowers. The fruit they do produce may be smaller and not so well formed, but in particular, there's a disease that gets on peppers this time of the year, and I've been getting a lot of emails and calls about it. I thought I'd mention it to you. And that's a disease called anthracnose. This is a fungal disease that causes these very characteristic lesions in the fruit of the bell peppers. Now when it's this badly infected, you really can't salvage to the fruit, but if there's just a spot here or there, you can trim those off and use the rest of the fruit. It won't hurt you at all to eat them. Now the longer you leave a pepper on the plant, if you want to let it ripen, the more chances there are of this disease to hit. So one way to get around it is to harvest earlier before you get the infection showing up. But once it does occur on a pepper, Pick those infected peppers and dispose of them. Don't leave them in the garden, don't drop them on the ground. Don't put them in your compost pile. Throw them away entirely, and that sanitation will help reduce the amount of disease in your garden. In addition, don't wet the foliage when you water your plants. Wetting the foliage and wetting the fruit encourages anthracnose to occur. Try to irrigate by directing the water lower down at the roots, or use a soaker hose uh, to irrigate. And then finally, if you feel that you need to spray a fungicide to control this, use a copper-based fungicide. Liquid copper, copper fungicide, or copper soap are options you'll find at your local nurseries. Spray those following label directions about once a week, and that will also help cut down on this disease. Anthracnose on peppers, don't let it take away your pepper crop. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.